Okay, so today we'll be going through the theory of behaviorism. So this one utilizes a stimulus in order to generate a response. Previously we've gone through cognition, cognitive, and constructive. Um, and those are two different theories. Behaviorism uses a stimulus to generate a response and that trains us to learn a bit or behave a particular way. Learning, so that's what learning is, behaving a different way. So um, we have the two main theorists. Um, we have classical conditioning and we have operant conditioning. And so with classical conditioning, we have the example of Pavlov's dog in which the, um, the dog would salivate over a bowl of food. And so the, the salivation was the, gen was the desired response that was generated from the stimulus of the, the food. So um, the second part of the experiment involves using a bell in order to, um, a bell that would follow the food, or not follow, precede the food. So the bell went ding, and the food came out, the dog salivates over the food. So that's the second part. But the main part of classical conditioning is the um, after you know the experiment's been conducted many, many times, um, the dog starts to learn. It it gets used to the it gets used to the bell and the food, so it starts salivating over the bell. As soon as the bell rings, it salivates, rather than salivating once it's, once the sight of the food is known. So um, that's what classical conditioning is all about. So it's using a stimulus to, you know, over, you know, repeatedly so that, you know, a neutral stimulus, just like in ads, how like you have, you know, like a really gorgeous model advertising a, um, like a, a neutral, a neutral-ish product. So you have the, you know, the model makes the products look really good, makes it look really attractive. And so the, you know, that's classical conditioning because the, the, um, the, the, um, the product's been paired with the model and so the model, the product looks really good. Um, the second theory is operant conditioning. So that's classical conditioning. Does anyone have any questions about classical conditioning? Which we'll probably get to after class. Okay, good. So operant conditioning is another theory in which we use a either reinforcements, reinforcements, positive and negative, or we have punishments, positive or negative. So um, who here in the class has, you know, has like a really dirty bedroom, really, you know, messy and everything? Like even I do, even I have a positive, even I have one. Because like you know you seem to tidy it and then it just gets dirty again. Oh, it's a whole nother story. But so if you want to train someone to you know parents want to train their kids to keep their bedroom tidy, you could you know you could use reinforcement. So you have positive reinforcement which rewards good behaviour. That's what operant conditioning is more mainly about. It's by using a consequence in order to you know encourage or deter certain behaviours. So you could use positive reinforcement to. Um, reward good behavior and that could be in the form of giving them pocket money for keeping their bedroom clean or you could use bad behavior if they keep their bedroom dirty then you could take something away from them that they you know that they enjoy so you take their phone away from them um, uh, and then the second form is in punishment and so what this is is you know if they don't keep their t if they don't keep their bedroom tidy you could punish them by either giving them something that they don't like such as you know giving them chores or something or you could remove something that they don't like, which could be a phone, which could be their phone, or it could be games. So, and that's what reinforcement is. It rewards good behavior and, pun and deters bad behavior. And um, uh, punishment is what, you know, it basically, punishment is all about um, deterring the bad behavior. The reward in punishment is by avoiding the punishment altogether. So that's what operant conditioning is. Um, so I've designed some butcher's paper. Here are butcher's paper um, for the, today. So we'll, let's um, divide the group basically in half here. Um, so this side of the group will be working on operant conditioning, and this side of the group you'll be working on classical conditioning. And we'll get you to work on some questions, and we'll bring it back in ten minutes.